We have got the top of the hour, so we're going to go ahead and get started with today's webinar presented to you by LEARN. Our subject today is the LEARN Program Review, and our presenter today is Greg Marcello. Greg is a founder of LEARN. He's also LEARN Senior Vice President for Organizational Development, and Greg has helped hundreds of organizations with program reviews and assisted them with the health of their program. So he's going to give you some great information today. We'd like you to keep your questions until the end of the presentation. At that time, you can enter your questions in the question queue, which you will find on your GoToWebinar navigation bar. We're recording today's webinar and we'll be sending you a link to the archive presentation as well as the slides. So if everybody's ready, let's get started. Great, thanks a lot, Tammy, and welcome to everyone to today's webinar. Uh, for those of you who are new to LEARN, LEARN is the Learning Resources Network, and LEARN is the leading association in continuing education and lifelong learning. We work with universities and colleges, recreation departments, public schools, associations, all types of organizations that provide some type of programming or service for a group of people. Uh, we were founded in 1974, and LEARN is a nonprofit, and so our mission is you. We focus on providing you whatever technical assistance we can, and our unique selling proposition is information that works. Uh, we provide um, tips and strategies and techniques that you can immediately use to help improve your programming, your contract sales, your marketing, and your operations. We're all very excited at LEARN because we just came off of a wonderful conference in Portland, Oregon in November. Uh, Record-breaking numbers from our projections and great information. We experimented with lots of new ways of sharing information, and overall the conference was a tremendous success. So we're all on a big high on the LEARN team, and we're already getting ready for next year's conference. For those of you who I haven't met before, my name is Greg Marcello, and as Tammy said, I'm a co-founder of LEARN. Bill Draves and I co-founded LEARN together in 1974. Probably most important to anyone who is on today's webinar is that I'm a road warrior. I travel about 45 weeks a year uh, throughout North America visiting um, continuing education and lifelong learning programs. So probably more than anyone else, I have seen and worked with um, on-site more continuing ed and lifelong learning programs. Uh, area of expertise is data analysis. I've built a variety of software tools that LEARN uses to do data analysis, and I spend a great part of my time providing technical support, best practices, strategies, techniques. And as Tammy said, I've done a lot of program reviews. Uh, at this point in time, I've done over 200 program reviews, which means that I actually have analyzed data and materials and information from over 200 programs, which gives me a really good sense of what's working and what's not working out there. So today's agenda is pretty simple. I'm gonna explain what the program review is. I'm gonna talk about what I believe the benefits of the program review are. Then I'm gonna tell you how it works, um, and along with that, what the price is. And then I'm just going to highlight a few programs that have completed a program review this year, and then we'll open it up to whatever questions you have. So as Tammy said, you know, whenever you've got a question, go ahead and log it into the question um, uh, box. And as we get to the end of the webinar, Tammy will read the questions and I will answer them to the best of my ability. So let's just do a definition first and a very simple definition. Um, what the program review is, is an informal assessment. It's really important that you and others on your team understand that this is not an audit. It is really me coming in and taking a look at how you do what you do and providing the best feedback that I can uh, with regards to actions you need to take going forward. I always say that when you do a program review, there are three things that you get. You get um, I highlight for you the things that you're doing well. I point out concerns I have over the next three years, things that I feel you need to deal with over the next three years, and then as specific recommendations as possible uh, that provide you um, actions that you can take going forward. And part of that is also providing you what I believe you need to do in the next 12 months and where you need to be in three years. So it's sort of beginning to give you sort of that checklist in that vision of where you need to head in order to either remain a winning program or become a winning program. 
And the recommendations are zeroed in on your course programming, on your marketing, if you're doing contract training on that, and on your operations. So the information that's provided is as diverse as possible. It is customized. That means that you have specific questions or issues you want addressed, they'll be addressed. But at the same time, we'll be looking at everything else you do to maybe provide feedback on things that maybe you're missing or maybe you're not actually um, following what we would call industry best practices to ensure that you're getting the best out of your resources possible. So it's informal, it's not an audit, and what you get out of it are what we would consider very practical recommendations you can take going, you can work on going forward. I do understand that every one of you is unique. Each one of your programs is unique. And as I travel, it's very clear that every program I visit is unique. But what I always say is, is that 80% of what you do is like everybody else. You produce classes, you, you, you promote through a catalog, you register people, you sell contracts, you deliver contracts. I mean, that's what everybody in our industry does. And so there are certain things that you need to do and do well to be successful with that 80%. But I also understand that the other 20% is what makes you unique where you're located, the institution you're part of, the number of staff you have, the history of your program, all of those things impact how you operate. So when I do a program review, I'm looking at two things. I'm looking at that 80%. You know, are you utilizing the best practices where they are appropriate to utilize with your organization? And then on the other end, I'm trying to understand why you operate the way you operate so that then I can take those two things and when telling you what's working and when telling you what to be concerned about and telling you recommendations, they are specific to who you are. They are actions that you need to take in order to improve. They may be the same actions that other programs need to take to, to improve, but these are specific to you. These are things that you need to do. So yes, you're unique and yes, I respect that you're unique, but at the same time, you're wanting me to say, what are the things that you need to be doing that other winning programs are doing that you're not doing? And one of the things we say at Learn always is that when you take a look at your organization, you don't want to measure up to the average. You want to measure up to the best. And so you want to be one of the best. So what are the things you need to do to get to that level? What are the actions you need to take? So here are the benefits from my perspective, and this is what I hear programs say when I've completed a program review for them. Number one, I compare you to similar programs. So if you're a recreation program in a large city, I'm looking at other recreation programs in large cities. If you're a community college in a rural environment, I'm looking at other community colleges in rural environments when I'm trying to match you up. And so again, there are certain standards that go across all organizations we work with, but there are differences because of where you're located, who you are, et cetera. And so one of the goals is to try to match you up with others like you. The second thing is matching you up with industry standards. So what are the best practices? You know, what are the benchmarks? What are the strategies that winning programs are using? And so I'm taking a look at your marketing, for example, and saying, well, this is what normally a winning program does in marketing. Why are you doing it different or why aren't you doing these things? And trying to determine if that most likely could be impacting your performance. And so if you were able to um, implement those standards, most likely you'd be performing better than you're performing today. Out of this, you understand the best practices you need to implement. I would say in general, when I do a program review, one of the things that people appreciate the most is having sort of a clear picture of the actions they need to take going forward. You could be a very successful program right now, and there are still actions you need to take going forward. And you could be a very challenged program right now, and of course there are actions you need to take going forward. But I am providing you those actions, I am teaching you those best practices, so that you can implement those to improve your overall success. 
once you go through a program review, you're going to be pretty clear what are the things you need to look at on an annual basis to see how you are performing. You know, what are those scorecard numbers you need to measure up to? What are the best practices you need to make sure you've implemented? All types of things that, again, from a programming and a marketing and a contract sales and an operations point of view are all the things you need to evaluate on a yearly basis to make sure you are prepared. Just a little sidebar, uh, for those of you who haven't utilized LEARN's lifelong learning assessment tool, this is a 55 question tool that if you go through and answer it, you're going to be able to even get a sense as of today how you're performing from our perspective. And that tool in itself is something that I always recommend as part of a program review that organizations do on a yearly basis. So if you haven't heard of the assessment tool, feel free to contact Tammy at info at learn.org and Tammy can give you a link to that tool so that you can actually go through and evaluate how you're performing today in light of the benchmarks we believe are important at LEARN. And then the last thing about the benefits is that you get a report. And that report is something that you can actually share with central administration or share up the ladder to whoever needs to hear what it is you're doing well and why you're a successful program or what are the things they need to do to support you so that you can become a winning program going forward. I will also say that a lot of times when I'm on site, I will meet with people up the ladder. I will meet with college presidents. I will meet with superintendents. And I will actually explain face to face the things that I think they need to hear in order to ensure that um, you have the right resources, you have the right support to be successful going forward. So those would be considered sort of key benefits. Here's the process. Here's how it works. Step number one, you are assigned a LEARN consultant. You can either pick someone on the LEARN team who you want to then perform your program review for you, or we will assign someone. I probably do about 95% of the program reviews, and so I would be the one who most likely would be assigned if you didn't pick somebody that you wanted to be your LEARN consultant. But you have that option to choose who on the LEARN team you would like to do uh, your program review. The second thing is, is that then we provide you a list of data, information, and materials that we need you to prepare and forward to us. Um, and then when receiving that information, that is what we then analyze before we come on set, site. So we're analyzing your data, we're analyzing your information, we're analyzing your materials so that when we come on site, we really have a good understanding of who you are. And so we don't need to spend a lot of time sort of at the beginning stages. We actually are going to be telling you things about yourself that you might not even know. The fourth thing is, is that once we've got that information and that data and those materials, and once we've done our analysis, we come on site for two days. With larger programs, it's sometimes three days, and that would be something we would discuss. But we come on site for two days, and in day one, we're going to review our analysis but we are also then going to meet with people on staff in order to gather more information. In my case, for example, I've done a lot of program reviews. I, am, I know the business you're in. I've actually done the business you're in. So it's very easy for me to talk to people and to gather information from people about what it is they're doing, how they're doing it, et cetera. After day one, then that information that now has been gathered and everything that we've done prior to the visit is then thought through and on day two a preliminary report is given this is normally a powerpoint presentation which walks you through exactly what i said earlier what are you doing well what do you should have to be concerned about and what are the recommendations we may not go into as much detail detail in that preliminary report as you will want to go into if you decide to implement a recommendation, but we will cover it in depth enough so that you can ask questions, you can provide feedback, so that once that day is complete, I am then in a position to be able to write your report. And within a month, you would receive a program review final report. And that final report would include all the things we've spoken about, but most importantly, would include the recommendations. 
once you receive the final report, if you want to have another debriefing, much like the preliminary report debriefing, we can set a telephone call where we can actually then walk right through the report again. And if you have questions about things or need some more detail on something, that can be provided. And I think the most important point is the last point, is that once the analysis has been done, the visit has taken place, the report has been generated, your LEARN consultant is available for as long as you need as part of this contract to provide both email and telephone support. So there are program reviews that I did five years ago that I'm still hearing from people who are now starting to work on certain recommendations and they're asking for more in-depth information, support, et cetera. So this is not just about doing a report, this is also about being able to provide service going forward to help you with the implementation of the recommendations. Because some of the recommendations are very easy to implement, they're no brainers. And then there's, there's recommendations that are gonna take more time, more discussion, um, more resources in order to help you better understand how you would implement that recommendation with your organization. So that's the process, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. These are the things you need to do. And let me preface this by saying that if you don't have any of this information, we're not expecting you to figure it out. You're just going to give us what you have, whatever is available. So sometimes organizations that want to do program reviews stress a little bit because they feel like they can't provide anything. Well, you're going to provide whatever it is that you can, and then certainly we would be working with you on how going forward you could have provided some of the information you didn't. So eight key things. Number one is we look for data, be it if it's registration data for you your course programming, or if it's uh, purchasing data for your contract sales, so that we can take that data and we can analyze that data and determine your market segments, determine your carrier routes, your postal codes, determine uh, what your repeat rate is, determine what your average fees are, all types of information that sort of gives us a really good sense of who you are. Second thing is promotional materials and website address. So your catalog or other promotional pieces you might produce, your website, um, even social media, e-marketing, other things that you might utilize to get the word out about your organization. Third thing is financial information. We're trying to get a sense of the revenue you're generating, the money you're spending on marketing, the money you're spending on delivery, the money you're spending on administration, so that we can determine what your operating margin is, we can determine what your net is, so we can get a sense of how you're performing financially. And again, some of you might work with grant programs or allocations, and we'll work with you on how to provide that data so the data is as valuable as it can to be to us as we do our analysis, but also to you when we report back. Um, number four is benchmark numbers. We'll be asking you, what's your cancellation rate? How many leads does it take to get a contract? What's your average participants? How many brochures does it take to get a registration? And again, you may have this information or you may not have the information, but whatever you have, we would want to see. Number five is a staffing chart. Just want to sort of see what your staffing chart looks like. And we'd be asking for three to five key responsibilities for each position so that we can just get a sense of sort of how you operate from a staffing point of view. I will say that probably 50% of the discussions that take place as part of the program review are about staffing structure, are about how is what is the best way for us to structure our organization, what positions are we missing, what positions do we have too many of, whatever that might be. And I would say that one of my key areas of expertise in our field is um, staffing structure, organizational chart. Number six is pricing examples. Just want to get a sense of how you price, uh, whether you've got formulas you use or you've got a template you use or whatever that might be. Because in my mind, pricing really drives the financial end of your business. And so if you're doing pricing correctly, normally your finances are going to be in reasonably good shape. Number seven is plans. Do you have a marketing plan? Do you have a business plan? Do you have a strategic plan? Are there any other plans that you develop so that we would have that to be able, again, to get a better understanding of where you are today and where you're heading? And then number eight is just telling us what you want to get out of the program review. So 
Certainly there are things that we will do that are always part of a program review. Certain questions we'll ask, certain things we'll look at. But there have been program reviews where someone has said, we are talk we're looking at merging two departments. Help us with that merger. Or people have said, we're going to revamp our printed catalog. We really want you to look closely at that and help us with that or there's a certain area that we do business in it's a certain business unit and we want to make sure you really look at that one in detail so the program review expectations are really you making it clear what we definitely have to make sure we do for you in this review on top of everything else that we would be we would be providing as part of the agreement so the price for the program review is nine thousand dollars and that includes all expenses. So that's a flat fee of $9,000. That's for the two-day version. If you're looking at a three-day version because you're a larger program that really is gonna require us more time to meet with more people, then that would just be an additional $3,000. So $12,000 if it's gonna be a three-day visit. But I would say that 90% of the program reviews I do are two-day visits. You can pay for this over two fiscal years if you want. So for many of you, July 1 is your fiscal year. If you wanted to do the program review in the next six months and pay for half of it in this six months and the other half in the next six months, that's fine. We're really flexible on how payments are made because our goal is to provide the service. We know that if we do a good program review, that's gonna help you be more successful and that means you're gonna utilize Learn more going forward. Um, but. If you need to break it down over a two year period, that is fine, that's not a problem. And we strongly believe, and all those who have done program reviews with us would speak to this, is that if you implement just some of the recommendations, you don't have to implement all of them, but if you implement at least some of them, you are gonna see a return on investment of 10 to one, either in cost savings or increased revenue. So it is worth the time to do a program review because of the long-term payback you're gonna get because of it. And I will say again, that I have worked with over 200 organizations doing program reviews. And it is very clear to me that the ones that then are committed to working on the recommendations have all seen significant improvement because of that. These are some of the winning programs right now in our industry who maybe five or 10 years ago were not winning programs, but they committed to implementing these recommendations and to working with LEARN to be able to implement them in the best way possible. And so if you're going to do a program review, you really need to be committed also to say, we're going to select the recommendations that we agree with, and we're going to put some time into making sure these things happen. I do always say as part of the program review, there are many people who think these changes can take place overnight, and they don't. Many times it takes upwards to three years to make some, to put in place some of the recommendations we're gonna be talking about. It takes time to make these changes because you're doing your job also, and now you're trying to also improve the organization. So don't expect that I'll come in and do a review and say, boy, I expect all these things to be done in the next six months, because that's not possible. And that's why we're available for so long to keep working with you on implementation. These are just examples of some of the programs we've done reviews with this past year. So you can see that we're doing reviews with colleges, universities, recreation departments, and public schools, both in Canada and in the U.S. So I mean, a lot, of, I would say that right now, out of all the reviews I've done, over 25% of them have been in Canada, and probably over 15% have been recreation programs. So it's not just community colleges that we're doing reviews for. We're doing reviews for all types of organizations. Um, and again, each of these are customized to the type of organization you are. I think there's... Um, this quote from um, from Kelly, who's the marketing manager at the City of Alexandria Departments of Rec um, and Parks and Cultural Activities, probably speaks best to sort of what a program review does. We are bringing our expertise. We are focused on providing you solutions. What we do is customized. We really do it very hands-on and we're very easy to work with because we understand we are empathetic more than anybody else to some of the challenges you have to go through to be successful 
We provide very clear recommendations of actions to take. And if you utilize those recommendations, then it's going to impact your success going forward. You are going to increase participation. You're going to increase revenue. You're going to save money. And it's not going to just be a change to how you do business, but it's going to be a change to how people think. Part of me coming on site, for example, for a program review, particularly in that preliminary report, is to really explain to staff where our industry is today, where it's going, and what needs to be done in order to be successful over the next three to five years. And so having that helps change people's thinking because in many cases, many folks may have been working for a while at a certain organization and really not have a lot of interaction with others um, in, in, in other programs. And that's what we're bringing to the table as part of this review. So, I am happy to go through in more detail with anyone individually how the review would happen with you. What we've done is, is we've set up a calendar uh, that I've made dates available between tomorrow and the 15th of December, where if you do want to set up a time to talk, probably take about 30 minutes to just sort of explain your program and ask me any questions. This link will be sent out to you by email after this presentation, and you'll be able to schedule a meeting with me if you want to do that. If you prefer just to send me an email and say, let's try to connect at some point, that's fine too. But my responsibility is to sort of help you understand in more detail um, what the program review is for your program in particular. So, very simply, that's what it is. I would consider LEARN's program review our most valuable service that we provide because it is really LEARN taking the best of what LEARN is and then taking that expertise and understanding who you are and understanding your program and then being able to provide you recommendations that are specific to you. So I'm going to stop for a few minutes and just see if there are questions that uh, Tammy can read to me that I can ask or answer for you. And again, you can ask these questions now. If you want to email me later with questions, that's fine. Or in the appointment that you're setting up, ask those questions, that's fine. But Tammy, let me just sort of shift to you and see if there are any questions people might have. Great. We don't have any yet, but if you'd like to ask a question of Greg um, that's specific to this topic or your organization, you can type that in the question queue in the GoToWebinar navigation bar. And I'll just remind everyone that we recorded today's webinar and we'll be sending you some information, including the link to this presentation and the PowerPoint slides that go with it. So, Greg, with that, we don't have any questions. Very good. Well, let me just say thanks for spending the time with me today. Uh, hopefully we can do a program review for you because it would be great to get to know you better and great to be able to help you with what you're doing because that's what our focus is, providing information that works. Um, so again, if you've got questions, you know, by email or by setting appointment, be my guest um, and hopefully uh, we'll work together going forward. But if not, continue to lean on learn. We really encourage you to utilize your member services. One thing that people don't understand is that you can actually set up with LEARN consultants an hour where we'll get on the phone with you and present on a certain topic, answer questions that you and staff might have. So push us to provide you the greatest support that we can. But clearly, in my opinion, the program review is one where you really get your bang for your buck.